ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾನಂದಂ ಪರಮ ಸುಖದಂ ಕೇವಲ ಜ್ಞಾನಮೂರ್ತಿ ದ್ವಂದ್ವಾತೀತ ಗಗನ ಸದೃಶ ತತ್ವಮಸ್ಯಾದಿಲಕ್ಷ ಏಕಂ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ವಿಮಲಮಚಲ ಸರ್ವಧಿ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿಭೂತ ಭಾವಾತೀತ ತ್ರಿಗುಣರಹಿತ ಸದ್ಗುರು ತಂ ನಮಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ಚರಿತ್ರ ಆರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು into chapter 6 in the last chapter we have seen the birth of shri pada shri vallabha and when he attained the right age he left his home and went to kashi kshetra and from there he went to badri narayana and after visiting other holy places he reached gokarna and on listening to this namadharaka asked the siddha muni swami through do trimurti was a siddha having the yogic power to do and undo the things why did he visit different holy places and why did he prefer gokarna to other places what is its significance the siddha i am a siddha replied to him i am i am much delighted with your question and i am encouraged to narrate incidents from shri guru's life shri pada shri vallabha reached gokarna and on his way he made disciples and gave them divine advice gokarna is a sacred place of shri shiva and one of the 12 famous jyotirlingas shri ganesha founded here the original linga image of shiva it is known as mahabaleshwara the tale of which i shall narrate to you now ravana's mother kaitasi who is the wife of kulasta manasaputra of brahma was a great devotee of shiva she worshiped a new shivalinga every day one day she could not get a new shivalinga fearing that her wrath would be for futile she prepared an ardhan linga and began to worship it worship that linga with devotion seeing this ravana asked her what she was doing she said that she was worshiping a shiva linga ravana said you being my mother it is a great misfortune that you should use an ardhan you should worship an ardhan shivalinga well what to do intend to achieve by this worship what what do you intend to achieve by this worship mother replied that thereby she will get a place in kailasa abode of shiva after death thereupon ravana said why do you take so much trouble i shall bring the kailasa itself to you saying this he went to kailas and began to shake it violently with his 20 hands he tried to lift it up due to this action of his seven patalas were shaken shesha moved his head the tortoise began to tremble with fear Amarapura that means Amaravati the capital of Indra and the king of gods and heavens were shocked Parvati went to Sri Shiva with fear and said what has happened to Kailas today when everyone was in distress how are you lying at ease please do something to check this calamity Sri Shiva said to her you need not be anxious Ravana one of my devotee is playing a game Parvati entreated kindly protect the gods who are terrified Sri Shiva pressed Ravana's 10 heads and 20 hands underneath Kailasa finding himself in distress Ravana uttered Shiva Shiva and further prayed Sri Shiva I have made a mistake forgive me I seek your shelter kindly do not kill me I am your devotee 
Sri Shiva, who is very simple and kind, was pleased by his prayer. So he took him up from breath, breath, Ravana then cut his head, turned his hands into a veena. He attached his intestines, actually he attached his narus to serve as musical wires. He then began to chant Samaveda and sing other ragas on the tune of this musical instrument. He praised Sri Shiva in nine rasas and thirty-six ragas. Being much pleased by Ravana's performance at great personal sacrifice, Sri Shiva appeared before him and said, I am much pleased. Ask for whatever you desire. Ravana said, O God of Gods, Lakshmi is my maidservant. I possess all the eight treasures. Dhamma is my priest and all 33 crore gods are serving me day and night. The sun, the moon, the varuna and the wind also obey me. Agni, the fire god, washes my clothes. Yama does not take away anybody without my permission. Indrajit is my son and Kumbhakarna is my brother. Kamadhenu is at my doors. Now I have come to take away Kailasa with me as my mother has accepted a vrata to worship you daily. Kindly fulfill my mother's desire. Then Kailasapati Shri Shiva said, If your mother wishes to worship me, what is the necessity of taking Kailasa to her? I shall give you my Atmalinga, which will fulfill all her desires instantly. It is just like my soul. Saying this, he gave his Atmalinga to Ravana and said, After birth, place this at a holy place, reciting Rudra Sukta, and worship it with 108 lap recitation of a particular mantra. One who worship this linga continuously for three years will again will gain my prowess. One who possesses this linga will live for eternity. One is relieved of any great sin simply with the sight of this linga. Do not place this on the ground till you reach Lanka. Taking the Atmalinga, Ravana at once started for Lanka. Narada Muni immediately approached Indra and said to him, How are you sitting idle? Ravana has become immortal. You will lose all your prominence. Sri Shiva has given him Atmalinga and has assured him that if he would worship it for three years with devotion, he will become Ishwara himself. How will you then rescue 33 crore gods who are in his custody? Better you all be his slaves. Also send divine damsels like Urvashi, Rambha, Menaka, etc. to him. Being shocked, Indra requested Narada to advise what he would do. Narada asked him to go to Brahma. Indra and Narada went to Brahma and narrated what had taken place. Then, accompanied by Indra and Narada, Brahma went to Sri Vishnu and requested him to devise some means to overcome this calamity. Sri Vishnu was enraged to hear this tale. He, with all others, immediately went to Sri Shiva. Sri Vishnu said to Sri Shiva, What made you give Atmalinga to Ravana, the most wicked who has made all the gods his captives? How do you bless such cruel persons? Now I will conquer, now he will conquer even the heaven. Sri Shiva said, I am extremely pleased with his devotion. He cut his heads and hands and made a veena using his, using his narusa strings and sang Samaveda and other songs in different ragas. 
This time, if you had asked for Parvati with such a devotion, I would have given her, given her even to him. Sri Vishnu then said, you give such blessings and the demons become impudent and then we are troubled much as they harass the gods and brahmins and I have to descend on the earth. Well, tell me, when did you give the linga to Ravana? Then Sri Shiva said, I gave it to him only two hours before. Hearing this, Sri Vishnu immediately sent his Sudarshana Chakra to hide the sun and asked Narada to Ravana, Narada to go to Ravana and induce him to linger on the way as he would like to observe evening Sandhya. When then he called Ganesha and said to him, Ravana always disregards you. All bow to you first of you, and you fulfill their desires, while those who speak ill of you, you bring obstacles in their undertakings. Ravana deceived Sri Shiva and has taken away from him the most valuable Atmalinga. So you should go to him in the form of a Brahmachari boy, and winning his confidence, take the Atmalinga from him at sunset. There, when he would manage, he, when he would engage himself in the evening sandhya and place the linga on the earth. If you do so, the linga will remain there. Saying this, Sri Vishnu gave Ganesha various sweets, till balls, good. Coconut kernel, milk, ghee, sugar, etc. Narada had already proceeded. Ganesha followed him hurriedly. Narada approached Ravana and said, "I had just been to Ka I had just been to Kailasa and knew that you pleased the Shiva by your hard penance and have brought his Atmalinga from him. You have obtained extraordinary power and strength due to this. This linga has a great significance." Please let me see the linga. I shall explain to you all its qualities. As Ravana did not believe Narada, he showed him the linga from a distance. Narada then asked, Do you know when and how this linga came into existence? This is a very interesting account. A black-skinned bride, dear, Having all fragrant things was lying in Brahmanda Kanda. Kanda. Brahma, Vishnu, and Mahesha once went there for hunting. They killed this deer and satisfied their hunger with its flesh. The deer had three horns on its head and three lingas below those horns. Each one of them took one linga and preserved it as Atmalinga. One who worshipped this for three years become Ishvara himself. The place where this linga is placed is like the Kailasa. Therefore, Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesha have great prominence over all other gods. Ravana intercepted, I have no time to listen to you as I have to reach Lanka soon. Let me proceed further on my way. Narada then said, This is evening time. You know the Vedas. You should act as prescribed by the Vedas. This is the time for evening Sandhya. Let us perform the same. Saying this, Narada went away for Sandhya. In the meantime, Ravana saw Ganesha in the form of a Brahmachari boy who was plucking durvas, a particular type of grass. Durvas, Ravana thought that boy should, would not deceive him. Better observe Sandhya entrusting the linga to that boy. So thinking, he approached Ganesha who was afraid to see Ravana with ten heads coming to him, but he began to run away from there. Ravana asked him, Who are you? Who are your parents? Then Ganesha said, Why are you inquiring? 
what does my father owe you? Ravana smiled and said, don't be afraid of me. I am asking this only out of curiosity. Ganesha replied, I am son of Sri Shiva. He has an ash mark all over his body, has a necklace of Rudra beads around Rudra Cha beads around his neck and bears hairlocks on his head. My mother is Parvati. My father rides a bull Nandi with my mother and begs for alms daily. Ravana said, Your father is a pauper. He must be a beggar. He begs for alms from door to door. So it seems that you are unhappy at home. Inside, in the inside, in a beautiful city, Lanka, rich with magnificent buildings, gardens, and other wealth, you live with me. I shall give you whatever you desire. Ganesha said, there are many Rakshasas in Lanka. They will devour me. A boy living in a forest. I am just a boy living in the forest. Hence, I would not come to Lanka. I am hungry and so I am eating these sweets. Ravana again entreated him to hold that linga in his hand till he observed Sandhya. Thereafter, Ganesha said with hesitation, I am an ignorant boy. I won't hold this linga in my hand as it may become heavy. Let me go to my palace. Let me go to my place. Still, Ravana persuaded him and induced Ganesha to hold the linga and he proceeded to observe Sandhya on the seashore. Ganesha warned him, Mind, as soon as I feel the linga heavy, I shall place it on the earth. Saying this, Ganesha took the linga and waited there. All the gods had gathered in the sky and were witnessing this event. When Ravana was offering Argya, the water ablution to fire god, Ganesha called Ravana and said that he is fatigued and he should take his linga from, his, from him soon. Ravana made signs by hand and asked him to wait for a little more time. After a while, Ganesha again called Ravana and asked him to come immediately as it was becoming unbearable for him to hold the linga. Ravana was meditating this time. Seeing that Ravana was not coming, Ganesha recollected Sri Vishnu's words and placed the linga on the ground in the presence of gods in the sky. All the gods were greatly pleased to see this and showered flowers in the head of Ganesha in admiration. In admiration. Soon after, Ravana returned and seeing that the linga was placed on the ground, he was much annoyed. He began to thrash Ganesha in wrath. Ravana tried his best with all his might to lift up the linga. The earth trembled, but the linga could not be shaken a bit. As Ravana tried to lift it up by screwing, it took the shape of an ear of the cow, so it is known as Gokarna. And as Ravana exercised all his might to lift it up, the linga is called Mahabaleshwara. In despair, Ravana then went to the forest for hard penance. There are many other incidents signifying the greatness of this holy place. This is narrated in the Skanda Purana. Thus ended chapter 6 of Sri Guru Charitra, our life of Guru, which is explaining how exactly the Mahabaleshwara Linga was consecrated in Gokarna by Ganesha. Namaste Sharada Devi, Kashmira Puramasini, Swamaham Prarthaye Nityam, Vidyadhanancha Dehime. Goodbye.